In this final video on constructing character tables, we're going to determine how the binary products of the C3V point group transform. In previous videos, we've determined which classes the six different symmetry elements of the C3V point group belong to and have divided those elements into their classes. We've determined the irreducible representations of the C3V point group. We've determined how the linear vectors transform and how the rotational vectors transform. In this video, we're going to determine how the binary products transform. The binary products are the products of the three linear functions, the x, the y, and the z function, and are outlined here. Oftentimes, some of these functions are expressed as linear combinations. In the C3V point group, the x squared and y squared are expressed as linear combinations of each other. So for the C3V point group, we're going to determine how these six functions transform. The xy, the xz, the yz, the z squared, the x squared plus y squared, and the x squared minus y squared functions. We're going to start with the easiest function to describe, and that's the z squared function. So if you look up at the character table, we notice that under C3V symmetry, the z function transforms as a totally symmetric A1 representation. Squaring a totally symmetric function leads to a totally symmetric function. So therefore, the z squared function also transforms as a1. We're now going to go on to describe the other five binary product functions, starting with the x squared plus y squared function. In three-dimensional space, this function looks like this. So this double parabolic function. We can replot this in two dimensions, looking at the xy plane and obtain this. This particular plot emphasizes the fact that x squared plus y squared is the function for a circle, which is totally symmetric with respect to all operations in the C3V point group. Therefore, the x squared plus y squared function transforms as the A1 representation as well. For the remaining four functions, we're going to look at all of them as two-dimensional contour plots plotted on specific planes representing the Cartesian axes. We can plot the x squared minus y squared function that has positive values along the x-axis and negative values along the y-axis. The E character for this function is 1. We're going to skip the C3 function for a second and jump ahead to the mirror plane going through the XZ plane. That returns the same function because it's going through the XZ plane. So the positives remain positive, the negatives remain negative, and it gets assigned a character of 1. When we do the C3 rotation, we obtain this. And notice we're not getting the same function or its inverse back. Therefore, the character for this function is not equal to plus or minus 1. What this is telling us is that this function following a C3 rotation is an admixture of itself and another function of the different binary products. The only other function that lies in the xy plane is the xy function, which we have plotted here. And if we do that C3 rotation, we see that we don't get it or its inverse back either. Instead, it's an admixture of itself and the x squared minus y squared function. Therefore, we know we have to treat these two functions together. Moving on to the vertical mirror plane, we see that the function inverts as we do that reflection through the xz plane, meaning that it has a character of negative 1. Taking these two functions together, we can generate 2 by 2 matrices representing these different operations take the trace of these matrices to obtain the characters, and the character corresponds to the E representation for the C3V point group. So therefore, the x squared minus y squared xy pair transform together as the E representation of the group. We now have four of the six binary products assigned. So going on, we're going to move to the xz function and plot it as a two-dimensional contour plot in the xz plane. We know that its character for E has to be 1. Skipping ahead to the mirror plane in the xz plane, you do that reflection, nothing happens. So the mirror plane reflection's character is also 1. As we go through and we do the rotation along the C3Z axis, 
we get this. At first blush, it looks like we've simply inverted the function. However, you can notice that the contours haven't changed intensity. Therefore, we know that the character for this is not equal to a plus or minus one for this rotation along the C3 of the XZ plane. This means that it's an admixture of another function, and by process of elimination, we know that it's an admixture of the YZ function. And we can see that by plotting the C3 rotation of the XZ function in the YZ plane. The YZ function has a character for E equal to 1. Doing the C3 rotation and plotting along the YZ plane, we can also see that its character is not equal to 1. And showing the XZ plot clearly demonstrates that we're mixing together the XZ and the YZ function upon doing this C3 rotation. Reflecting through the xz plane, we obtain this, so the function inverts, so its character is 1. Because these two functions have to be treated together, we generate 2 by 2 matrices for the xz and yz functions. Taking the trace of these matrices yields the characters, which corresponds once again to the E representation of the group. So the XZ, YZ pair transform is the E representation as well. We'll stop here with the construction of the C3V character table. If one wanted to, one could generate cubic functions by using the same method that we just used for the binary functions. So you would generate your 10 cubic functions and then determine how they transform under the operations of the group and assign representations to those. However, for our purposes, we only need to know how the linear vectors transform, rotational vectors transform, and the binary products transform. If we're dealing with f orbitals, then we have to know how the cubic functions transform because the f orbitals transform is the cubic functions. So just to summarize, we went through a series of steps to, to generate this character table. The first step was we generated a group multiplication table to see how the six symmetry elements combine together. We then use that to group those elements into classes using similarity transforms. After that, we derive the irreducible representations of the group using consequences of the great orthogonality theorem. We then assign Mulliken symbols to the irreducible representations and then determine how our linear vectors transform, our rotational vectors transform, and how the binary products transform. Although most of the group have more operations than the C3V point group, in essence, constructing character tables for those groups are the same as what we did for the C3V point group.